Hello, everyone, and welcome. This is Sandra Alexi from uh, Game Changer, the YouTube channel, and from my personal muse, which is my um, website. So I do spiritual and business coaching through astrology, intuition. Um, you can check it out. Uh, it's underneath this Show Me More. Uh, I really want to thank everybody um, for being here consistently um, and for sharing. I am just the messenger, okay, and helping you with the energies of what's happening um, on Earth, okay? And so it's pretty exciting because we've moved from the fiery Leo energy and we're moving more into the Virgo energy. And I do want to say, I will usually add a lot of, of different things to the video. I also put up a written thing on, on my Facebook page. So if you want to make sure and connect with everything, hopefully you will um, watch the video. Well, interesting enough, it, Virgo season is all about health. And everyone I talk to seems to, not everyone, but a vast majority of people have had a couple of challenges. Uh, they've put on weight, okay? And a lot of weight is about kind of being self-protective and with with the anxiety and the stress and that we'll tend to nibble on stuff. And of course, there has been a lot of challenges in relationships, okay? Those are the two um, big areas. And... Um, that's why I think Game Changer is such um, a wonderful book. It's how to live your, how to love with your head instead of your heart. It's a blending of two. And because Virgo is very analytical, it's a really good time. It's a, a self-discovery book and understanding the first relationship is with self. And the first chapter is all interactive exercises. And you can see more about it because on the YouTube channel, I have done a synopsis of each chapter. You can purchase this at, at chapters. You can go on Amazon. And if you click up above, it will tell you where to get it. And it does come in audio. It comes in hardcover, softcover, and ebook. Okay. And so now I want to um, share uh, the knowings. And the messages, the weather report, okay, of the cosmos. Thank you. Well, so we get to embrace this beautiful, practical, and grounding energy that will be so helpful to so many individuals during this crazy, chaotic, and transformative time when our lives feel totally out of control, okay? August 20th, 22nd is when... It goes into um, Virgo. And happy birthday to all the Virgos. Uh, Virgo is all about health, vitality, well-being, self-care, and your dharma. The Virgo season is the harvest. Okay, so, and I personally love the earthy energy, which gives us a respite from the intense and fiery energy of Leo and the Lionsgate portal, okay? That beautiful, creative Leo energy assisted us, though, in coming within, honoring, taking our power, holding our light. And now we can use this Virgoian energy to make some sense of our lives and make some good decisions that are effective uh, for our own forward momentum. We now have some good personal boundaries. Trust your intuition, listen to your epiphanies, and understand that no is a sentence. Virgo says, what is next? Time, patience, and logic are especially important during this time. Time for things, ideas, dreams, and projects like seeds that need to unfold organically in divine time, not necessarily your time. So have patience. 
Virgo energy will assist. Now, this is important. Gullible people on how to put things into proper perspective and release illusionary states so they are forced to take more personal responsibility for their lives. No victim mentality. The higher frequency of the Virgo communication, because it's ruled by Mercury, is analytical and insightful and gives clarity to articulate our truth and knowing. Okay. Individuals have many serious decisions to make for themselves and their children during these challenges times. Truth versus non-truth. But this is really inspiring. If you can take this kind of energy and take it within and work it and align, it's beautiful. Okay. I trust individuals will come to their senses and bring reason to the problem-solving process. Gaining an objective focus and using your powers of discernment, personal responsibility, personal accountability, and morals. Staying grounded as we assimilate and integrate the newness of our world. Anything that we do has to be done for the good of all involved. No codependency, energy vampire, or parasitic energy allowed. LOL. Okay. No corruption, no greed. Because karma is a bitch. Uranus is retrograde right now in Taurus, okay? And Uranus is all about freedom. And it has us fighting for our lives as the corruption, the greed, the deceit, the lies are having us question our sanity and our knowing. Stop. Stop right now. What is this Virgoian energy to assist us with? Wow. Well, during these chaotic, intense emotional times, we sometimes forget how to think because we're so emotional. You know, we are um, not responding. We're reacting. It's emotions. We, there's a lot of frustration. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of sadness. There's just unease, high anxiety. Stop and think. Do not react. As we have three big shifts, Mars and Aries is acting up and squaring off right now with Pluto, which is retrograde. And this is one of three transits. So we're kind of in it right now. You might want to mark this in your day book or calendar. The next one is October 7th to the 12th, and then December 21st to the 24th. Okay, so put that in your calendars. High anxiety, feeling destabilized, uncertain. What is right? What is wrong? Time to tune in and use your analytical skills. Discernment, evaluation, and critical thinking skills. Timing is everything. It is very precious. And that is why I am very discerning when it comes to with who and what I spend my time with and on what. When I taught time management um, years ago, individuals would say, I never have enough time. Of course, that's why they came to my workshop. Or I like to live spontaneously. I don't want to have a daytime or I just want to be, you know, in the flow of life and, and whatever. My knowing and what I taught is that we each have 24 hours in the day. That is one thing that's equal to everything. everybody. Everybody has 24 hours in a day. It is how you choose to utilize, to use that time to be effective in your life. But when you um, have high anxiety, out of control, totally emotional, it's like sometimes you, you don't get time. Okay, you don't make the time. You're not 
conscious. You're not consciously competent of what's going on. Competency is going to be big. Okay. So what you have to do is be aware and mindful of your time. And it's your choices and decisions will, will make your life efficient. We all certainly have come to realize what and who are meaningful and essential in our lives after the big wake up call that we're going through. Now you're being asked to adjust your individual parts into wholeness, to the wholeness physically, intellectually, emotionally, spiritually. We have a five-month process to work things out in our lives, as things and everything will resolve in late December. Up to that point, not just all going to resolve. It's a process. And with Pluto in um, Capricorn, not moving into Aquarius until 20, 22, 23, 24, somewhere in there. I've, I have the exact date, but that's... Well, it'll be tough. So we're in process, okay, a work in progress. So what's happening is with our individual parts, and we're looking at it emotionally, intellectually, I'm sure that people are having emotional shifts. For me, it's a lot of physicality. I had my eyes done. Um, um, I'm doing um, physiotherapy. Um physical therapy, a lot of different things, but each person is different. So we might have intellectual, we might have emotional, we might have physical work to do, we might have environmental, where we have to restructure our lives financially, our home situation, everything. So that's what this is all about. And you need to be conscious of it. Okay. We have two major planets shifting on December the 20th. And the, the thing you have to be do, to understand is be willing to do the process for self-mastery, which is a combination of effort, skills, consistency, and competence. So competency-based learning. Do not give your power away. That's a big thing. Once you're aligned with the divine and grounded, you know and you live within the universal laws of life. I suggest that you personally check what the mission statement of education is today. When I taught, it was, in my words, that has changed a lot over the 20 years. I actually sat on committees working on the mission statement with Edmonton Public, like, in the 90s. The mission of public education is to develop a foundation of learning that enables students to function effectively in life and work, further their learning in life, empower the potential and gifts of each child, and be responsible citizens of a democratic society. Wow, is that anything like it is today in actual reality? not just words, the fundamentals of society. Integrity is the practice of being honest and showing a consistent and uncompromising adherence to strong moral and ethical principles and values. Integrity is regarded as the honesty and truthfulness or accuracy of one's actions. Are we seeing that in the world? That's my question to you. The question for all of us, though, is are we living our lives that way? Are we walking the talk? Okay, and what are we teaching our children? Something for you to reflect on. We will feel a lot calmer with this Virgo energy as we connect with the earth. Go for a forest bath, hug a tree, walk barefoot on the earth, get a grounding blanket. Remember, we have the retrograde planets asking us to go within, so it's more self-discovery. Start thinking for yourself. Do not be brainwashed. 
Uranus is immensely powerful right now in Taurus as it went retrograde on August the 15th until January 6th, 2021. You may want to review some of the videos on the, di on the different retrogrades that I've talked about for an understanding of it. Mars is going to go retrograde September 9th, and I'll do a separate video on that energetic tip. So trust in the process in yourself. How do you want to live your life is the question. What matches your needs and desires as your frequency elevates and you change? And others may have a challenge with that. You're finally connecting and honoring your personal worth and value, your own process and how to choose to structure your life. How do you want to structure it? So make a list. This is a really a cool um, exercise. So you have two columns, and this helps you to get really clear. So in one column, it's what do I want to keep in my life or create? In the second column, it's what do I want to release and let go of? This could be people, things, habits, behaviors, thoughts, anything like that. Self-mastery of our frequency. Self. Discovery, okay, can be the game changer for you. I hope you enjoyed, and I thank you for your interest and time. I hope you will like, comment, and subscribe to YouTube Game Changer Game On Relationships. I suggest you order or pick one up, soft cover, hard cover, audio, and or ebook, and many blessings and much love. Please share. Consider having a personal session or reading with me as it could just be the game changer you need at this time in your life. Would you enjoy a video on how to use an aura meter? And this is an aura meter, okay? And this helps us with decisions. It helps us with frequency, knowing how and actually seeing how your thoughts and your emotions can shift and change the energy of your being and or a pendulum some of you have pendulums and we all have different ways of working with them so I was going to do a video I'm going to do a few videos on spiritual tools again self-discovery tools okay and so if you want to put in the comments which one would you like first the orometer or the pendulum. Okay. And you can check uh, my website as it goes underneath. Also, I'm giving away a um, mini reading. Okay. So if you put in the comments, um, if you comment, I put your name in the draw, and once a month I draw someone for a mini reading. Dan from the Niagara region won it last month, okay? And I think you had fun with it. Anyway, many blessings, much love, and have yourself a wonderful Virgo season.